here we go. So why don't we start today with perpetual motion with our new song so that we're got lots of energy for the new song and then we're gonna go to the um, also to your new nightingale song. And can we do your Statue of Liberty? Statue of Liberty, good. And then we're gonna rest the violin. Oh, but keep your head. That's right. Like, that's it. You don't need to push your head forward. Good. And how about perpetual motion with a, a good and very loose here. Good, really loose. Good. Can you tap your first finger and the two middles? And good. And that is that is very good. And eight, one, two, two. Your 
violin. Let's try that. Mm -hmm. So you want to sing the song in your head. Are you singing as you go? Sing, sing, sing. So we'll play two, two, eight, one, one, two, one, two, two. cobwebs away and then we get to do it again. Two, eight, one, one. Good. And then we sweep the cobwebs away and we do, that's right, just then we go back to the beginning. Eight, one, two, two. cobwebs away here also so we'll play away in everything we do. So when you get to play Paganini, for example, or lots of pieces that have lots of notes, we always need to know where we take out the broom to sweep the cobwebs away so that the brain is clear. So eight, one, two, two, one, two, three, three, four, two, three, one, eight. Good, and sweep, 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 good. marshmallows. Whoa. Okay, like a marshmallow. what those are. 
So our double trebles are where we play every note two times. two down, one and two. Good. Good. So we'll play singing. Ba, da, di, ba, da, di. Good. Good. Okay. Good. So let's, whoa, I'm stuck. Okay. That's it. So our night, what's a nightingale? Uh, it's a bird. <coughs> it's a beautiful bird. It has a beautiful song. Just, we'll 
just do that much. And then tomorrow you could do the next part of the phrase. But listen to how beautiful the bow is. So we want to sing like a nightingale. Okay, here we go. So, ba, ba, ba. Now, I'm going to add another challenge for you, since I won't be seeing you for a couple of weeks. And that's, we're going to play a D major scale. And that means we're going to start on the D string. And we're going to play every note. to go to perpetual motion Webs. 
third phrase. Two, A, one, one, three, one, two, and then the four. Good. Five, open, one, two. And we repeat the third phrase. This is a what? A D. D. And after D, you have E. E. And then F. F sharp. sharp. G. G. Sharp. Well, this is going to be a G natural. You don't have to understand why. Just to, just to know it's a G natural. Okay, so here we go. D.
except a cadenza. Can you play the B? You don't need to even think about it. You're not doing anything. Here we go. And A, A, one, two. May and today it's the first day of spring really. Can you imagine we had snow a few days ago? Today that's why I wore only short sleeves. I notice. It's very nice outside. Okay, here's your introduction. Jello and it's 
so good. You like it? Okay, good. But you know why I say jello? Because if you ever play with your food, do you ever play with your food? No. Well, if you play with jello, you can kind of just give it a little and it will wiggle. And so that's how we want the fingers to be, very wiggly. So maybe your dad will make you some jello and you can see how it wiggles. Sadie does rhythms and piano. Yeah. Jello, jello. Okay. Great, Sadie.